Okay, hey again. I also want to talk a little bit about another little thing that uh, that is one of my interests. It's fan fiction and and how it has affected modern movies. Well, today we got a lot of what they call Mary Sue's. Well, a Mary Sue was the term Mary Sue came from the fan fiction fan fiction synopsis where a character, a character created by a fan fiction writer of Star Trek. This has been going on for a long time, even before the internet came out, where fan fiction, people would write fan fictions of their favorite TV shows and favorite movie characters, and they would add them into storylines of the way they would like to have a movie or TV series be. Well, what happened was this writer wrote a wrote a Star Trek fan fiction where she had a Lieutenant Mary Sue. And it was a horrible character. Horrible. I mean, the character had no backstory. You didn't know much about it and about the character. And what happened was that they totally rejected her script and she got all upset about it because they rejected her script. Well, we got a lot of Mary Sues being written by legitimate writers now. I mean, one was the character Ray in Star Wars The Force Awakens. They didn't show you a bit of how she got her abilities to do drive a starship or anything like that. But in contrast, there were characters who weren't Mary Sue. I mentioned earlier the mo- in my earlier videos the movie Zootopia. They totally show you how Judy Hopps got her, abil- her abilities, or how she was how she was bullied and mistreated as a child and everything. That's why she had a desire to be a police officer because she wanted to make the world a better place. But they didn't do that with Ray. Ray is a horrible character, absolutely terrible. She's, and they do it to promote third wave gender feminism. Judy is not a third wave gender feminist. She's, she's, she's an egalitarian. She, she would, and that's the difference between the two characters. Generally, a, a character who's a Mary Sue is going to be created by somebody who has a agenda, you know, which is not very good. I mean, base a character, that every, make a character everybody's that's universally loved as opposed to a character that only a certain fan base, base would like, you know. It's like Miss Misanthropus. You got to see her videos. They're pretty cool. But she she goes there and rips the Hannibal, Hannibal fandom. I mean, they, they went totally... The people who created the TV show Hannibal, I mean, did a terrible job on it. And I, I'm a, no, no, no lie. But they did it to the Brian Fuller, the idiot who produces produced the series did it because he wanted to create some sort of PC version of of Thomas Harris's works. Thomas Harris's, the better Hannibal was played by Anthony Hopkins in the original movies. And the guy that played him in the Hannibal Rising was pretty good, but Mads Mikkelsen's good, totally incredible talent was wasted in this. And Seb is, you know, I mean, if you want to make a character a different want to reboot something. I have no problem with that, but stay with freaking canon, man. Stay with freaking canon. Don't go there and change it. And the one thing I hate is headcanon. Headcanon is the most ridiculous thing on the planet. I mean, if a character in a in a story is straight, keep him straight if you make your fan fiction or I mean, don't try to change him in Nothing against gay people. I mean, I have friends who are gay and lesbian. You know, but, I mean, for crying out loud, don't change the character. And I mean, if you want to make the story better by adding little embellishments, good. But don't, don't, try, and, don't try and make the character home. If you want a gay character in Star Wars, don't make Luke Skywalker gay. Come up with a gay character, a gay OC or original character. Of course, I'm just some straight, some straight conservative Christian from the South Georgia, and what, what the heck would I know? Then again, also, what the heck would I know? Also, also thought that 
that Aragon was a good movie. But that's just, just my views on fan fiction, fandom, headcanon, and, some of the, and Mary Sue's and some of those other concepts. I just wanted to get it off my chest and let people know what I think. All right. Take care, dudes.